Now, talking to women for most guys, it's already tough as it is. Talking to that girl you like, your crush, that seems impossible. But not anymore. After today's video, you suave handsome guys will know how to talk to any of your crushes and decrease your chances of actually getting rejected. All right, number one, preparation. First of all, if you know you easily trip up, especially in a conversation, you want to go in there with a game plan, something that you can rely on if the butterflies get the best of you and your head starts fogging. Another important key of preparation is how you look. This means you're gonna wear your best outfit when you know you're gonna approach your crush that day. And this is gonna do two things for you. One, like I said, it's gonna give you a great first impression when you first approach that female. And two, it's gonna give you an instant juice of confidence. And you know what I mean, we all have that one outfit that we just love wearing, that when you throw it on, you feel on top of the world. Wear that. All right, so you got preparation down, step one, step two. This is the approach. Now this one takes guts. Out of all the steps I'm gonna give you, this is the hardest one and the one that most guys can't get past. First, you wanna set up your mindset. So an easy way that you can put things into perspective is to think most guys fear rejection. Obviously nobody likes getting rejected, but you not even trying basically leaves you at a 0% chance of ever dating your crush or getting to know her. So that just off the bat, you trying, you're already winning. Another tip I like to give, especially if you're shy or it's you're gonna be your first time, you really like this girl, you wanna approach her, usually when you two are by themselves. If you approach her with her friends, it's gonna make it 10 times harder on you or you approaching with your friends, it's just gonna make her feel uncomfortable. On top of that, getting her while she's by herself also makes rejection way less awkward. So, you see her in the cafeteria, just go up, ask if you can sit next to her. Or maybe you see her at the party, just go up to her, ask her how she thinks the party's doing and start the conversation. Like I said, talking to women is all about confidence. If you can get that, you got the keys, my man. You wanna know what adds even more confidence? Wearing a sweet The Fifth Watch, of course. As you guys know, The Fifth Watch is, is a sponsor of our show. And before we keep going, I wanna share you guys this brand, especially if you've never checked it out, I highly suggest you do so. I'm gonna have the fifth watches linked down below with a discount code so you can check out some of their sweet gear. The fifth carries everything from sunglasses to backpacks and what they're best known for, their minimalist clean watches that just look amazing on every guy. The great thing with the fifth is that everything's aesthetic and minimal, but it's also affordable. So any of us can actually buy into this. You're not gonna be spending an arm and a leg on this stuff and it looks good. I've had this, the fifth watch, close to two years now. This is one of my first ones and I still wear it to this day. That's how quality and durable they are on top of how good they make you look no matter what outfit you're wearing. Like I said, when you're approaching women, you wanna make sure you're on your A game. Wearing that watch that makes you look good, those sunglasses that make you look handsome or that sweet backpack that adds to your style are all gonna add to that overall image and make sure that that first impression is a memorable one that she's always gonna remember. This also increases your chances of not getting rejected. Like I said, if you guys wanna check out our sponsor, The Fifth Watches, I'm going to have him linked below with a discount code so you can get some of this sweet gear even more affordable. All right, so you already have step one, the preparation. You have step two, the approach. Step three, keeping the conversation going. You got through the hardest part, but now you're here. What do you say? What do you not say to not make a fool of yourself? So I'm gonna give you a couple pointers. First, keep things simple and light. Introduce yourself. It doesn't have to be something extravagant or some sexy pickup line. Something as simple as just saying hello or hi or hey, you'd be surprised at how far that's gonna get you, especially if you throw in a smile. A second thing, especially to get the conversation going, is start asking open-ended questions. For example, let's take the school approach. Say you're at school and you see a girl, don't go and ask her something like, did you take Mrs. Amy's test? That's a yes or no question and the conversation's dead. Asking something more like, what did you think of Miss Amy's class or what did you think of that test? Again, this is gonna get her talking, which will then give you leads to keep that conversation going. And finally, just a few things you want to avoid never talk about your ex don't over compliment her it's just gonna make her feel weird don't put her on a pedestal don't tell her she reminds you of your mom all right so now we're on step number four you're in the conversation the conversation's flowing but now you need to start analyzing the conversation look at her body language what is it telling you is she liking it as much as you are or is she just weirded off trying to get you to step away if that's the case just wrap it up, say, hey, it was a pleasure talking to you and step out even before she rejects you. That way you got to talk to your crush and she didn't even reject you. On the other hand, if the body language is right, you see her that she's liking you and the things are going, we're gonna move on to the final step and the one you boys have been waiting for. Again, I won't go into much into body language. I did a whole video on that, 
that you can watch right up here. But the final step, you see the positive feedback? You gotta get her number, get the digits. If you see her that she's reciprocating and flirting back with you, she's gonna want to give you her phone number. So all you have to do is ask. And I get it, if you are a little bit shy or don't know if it's just right, leave on a positive note. You feel like you're on a high note, leave and leave her wanting more. Then when you could do with the power of social media, you could easily follow her on Instagram or on Snapchat and you could start messaging her there. And that's basically it guys. You follow that fail proof five step system. You can talk to any of your crushes and be confident you're not going to make a fool out of yourself. So that's it for me in this week's video guys. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Fifth. I'm going to have them linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.